Hi you guys, I'm going on a date and I just want to show you guys what I was wearing. So, I think this guy that I'm going on a date, he, I think he's going to ask me to be his girlfriend. <laughs> this is like our sixth date and I told him very specifically, I was like, just so you know, I'm still dating until you formally ask me to be your girlfriend. I, I told him that on our last date, which was our fifth date. And he was like, oh, okay. He was like, okay, now I have to plan something. So he very specifically made reservations and told me what to wear. <laughs> he was like, make sure you wear a dress. <laughs> so this is what I'm wearing. Yeah, so I'll update you guys later and tell you if he asked me to be his girlfriend or not. And just so you know, that's the way it's supposed to go. Until he tells you or asks you, hey, I would like for you to be my girlfriend, don't assume that you're that man's girlfriend. Bye. Sorry, y'all. I really meant to post the update right after the date, but it ended up being a little bit of a longer date than I thought, and I didn't want to post it too late. So here's the update. He took me to Five Church in Buckhead, champagne, a nice dinner, the whole thing. And then after the dinner, he's like, oh, I have a little uh, surprise for you. And our waiter brings out dessert with like writing on the plate. And he's like, he asked me to be his girlfriend. And I was like, that's really adorable. And I said, yes, so it's a girlfriend. <laughs> Um, but yeah, a really nice guy. And this is not the non-black guy that I made a video about before. That was a whole situation to where I was just seeing if I could date interracially. And while it was a positive experience, I kind of, I want a black family. You know, I just do. So this is not that guy. This is a black guy, a super nice guy, like really nice guy. Um, I'm not going to say too much about him, but, um, but yeah, so I said, yes, <laughs> And we're already planning like our first like, sorry vacation. He just got out of med school. He just accepted his first job as a doctor. And he's like, I just need to get away for a little while. So we already planning our first trip, girl. I'm like, yes, take me the fuck out the country. Um, so yeah, so that's how it's going. I have not had a boyfriend in like a while, y'all. This is different for me. Um, but yeah, that's the day update. Yo, yo, what's going on? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. What's good? So you just saw that clip of the girl talking about how she's been dating this guy. He took her out on uh, five dates and then she said to him, you know, until you, you know, uh, let me know you want me to be your girlfriend, I'm going to be still dating other guys. And then he took her out on, I guess, I guess a sixth date and then asked her to be his girlfriend. Right now. What I want you guys to understand is this, is that in this particular situation, this is not even about her. It's not her fault that this situation happened this way. This guy, right? What he's doing is, is that he's having a relationship basically on her terms, right? Because the thing I agreed with her was, was that she said, hey, you know, I'm going to keep dating until I'm somebody's girlfriend which makes sense <laughs> you understand what i'm saying but the problem is is that he basically said to her hey you know i want you to be my girlfriend literally right after she said that which means that he's basically following her lead he's getting a prompt from her to make the move to make that woman his girl right and so the problem with this is is that he's basically making this woman his girl on her terms, but not really on his terms. Because the thing is, he made the woman his girl, or he's making that happen after she had that conversation with him, right? Also, what happened is this, and this is what a lot of guys do, is that because they're desperate to be in a relationship, they meet a girl, they think she's hot or whatever, and they're like, I want this to be my girl so bad and all this other stuff, right? They don't want any other guys dealing with her. So he's like, I got to, I got to, you know, take her off the market real quick because I don't want any other dudes having sex with this woman. So I need to lock her down. See, the problem with jumping into relationships like this, and you already know how I do. I tell you guys, you have to make sure that you're vetting a woman for at least 12 to 18 months, right? Now. It sounds like he didn't even smash this chick right now. Maybe he could have, but to me, it sounds like he hasn't because he, he, he took her on six dates, right? 
And he's basically asking her to be his girl after six dates. Now, the thing you got to understand when it comes to you having a girlfriend, you have to remember that a girlfriend is a position. You understand? A position. So that woman has to earn the position because if she doesn't earn the position, then you're setting yourself up for failure. You're setting yourself up for drama. You're setting yourself up for nonsense. See, the question I would ask this guy is, how do you know that this girl is going to be a good girlfriend for you? Right? How do you know? He doesn't. What is his program? See, one of the main things when it comes to, you know, having a good relationship is seeing if the person that you're with so you're if you're dealing with you're dealing with this chick whatever seeing how consistent she is and on the flip side women need to also see how consistent men are but the consistency is important and there has to be time that is spent so that the consistency can actually show that it's really like going down that path like it's not some shit that oh yeah i can i can just hold off on a few dates and and and, you know act like this and make you think i'm this way but the thing is is that what happens is, is that if you do this thing where you jump into a situation you don't allow for time to see if the woman is consistent see what you have to understand is is that there's a lot of guys out there right who don't realize that the woman is running the show and usually when the woman is running the show and I say usually for a reason usually when the woman is running the show the relationship goes to shit because there are some guys who actually want to be submissive to their woman You understand this is that's just how they are they want they actually want the woman to run the show and in some situations those women are happy to run the show and then they just you know get along and do what they got to do but in general a lot of guys don't really want the woman to run the show but then they do shit like this they start off like this and then what happens is is that the women just end up running the show for the relationship because He started out letting the woman run the show because he didn't basically wife this woman up on his time. He wiped her up on her time because if he wanted to wife her up on his time, he would have did it before she said anything. Or even if she did say something, he would have said, that's cool, but I'm a wait. To wife you up But he wifed her up immediately After she told him That hey I'm gonna be out here dating Until you wife me up And then literally the next time they see each other He wipes her up You understand So she basically Influenced him To Make her his girl And then what's gonna happen is He's gonna wonder why he's in a relationship with a woman who's running the show who's leading their interactions right and see sometimes what happens is is that you may not even necessarily be aware that the woman is leading the interaction right always uh, you know i've been saying for the past few weeks i talk i was talking about how you know in a relationship somebody has to submit And in this example, the guy is already submitting to this woman based off of him following her lead because she prompted him by saying, hey, listen, I'm going to, you know, keep doing what I do until you wipe me up. And he's like, all right. And then he wipes her up right after. Now, if they get together, let's say they're in a marriage and let's say they actually 
you know, are compatible. And let's say, you know, he's happy with the situation and she's happy with the situation, right? That would be great. But what's more likely to happen is that either it's going to fizzle out sooner than later, or if they do get together, he's going to be in a situation where the woman is running the situation because she's already running it from the beginning. He's going to be the type of guy sleeping on the fucking couch. He's going to be the type of guy who coming home from work and he needs to go to the bar before he goes home or he needs to sit in his driveway for a little while before he goes into the into the house. You understand this? This is happening to a lot of men. And it's happening because they're not having relationships on their own terms. They see a woman. They think she's attractive. They get thirsty and they want this woman to be with them. And see, the reason why they want these women to be with them is because they don't see. They don't realize a, a, a woman being a girlfriend is a position They make women their girlfriends Based off of their emotion You understand They're like All emotional about it They're they're all in their feelings Oh my god she's so hot I think I love her I just want to be with her I can't stop thinking about her Right Because even she said in, in the joint You know the dude is is already planning a vacation and all this other shit and it's just like these niggas just jump into a situation super quick and then when they start to see how the woman really acts because they've never had time to see how she is when she's upset when she's depressed when she's angry you haven't seen those things you haven't seen if this woman uh is 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 uh cooperative with you you haven't really seen that yet you haven't seen if she's going to be cooperative on a consistent basis. You haven't seen if you can deal with her mood swings and all this other stuff. You haven't seen how she can get when she's, you know, not feeling too good or whatever it is like that. You haven't seen it and you wiped her up already. You see what I'm saying? But, you know, some guys, they don't realize that they're setting themselves up and they're in situations where the woman is going to run the show <laughs> you understand what i'm saying they just they just don't even realize it and some dudes just gotta you know bump their head and, and make these mistakes until they learn and unfortunately some dudes don't learn and you know they just gonna have to you know deal with the consequences and see if you have game then you would understand certain things so you don't have to go through a bunch of bullshit and it's funny because I put up, you know, I'll put up a comment on this, uh, this, uh, video cause it was on, um, Instagram. And I said, you know, I said, this dude is a lame. He took it, this woman on multiple dates. He didn't smash. And then he makes her, his girl on her terms. This is what happens when you're a man who doesn't have any game. And it's funny because a lot of people in the comments, you know, a lot of women were like, Oh, what are you talking about? You're messed up and you're bitter and blah, blah, blah. You know, and, and it's funny, you know, it's funny. A lot of people in the comments were saying, wait a second, you're a dating coach. Cause you know, they go on my, on my, uh, my page and they see the, the top of my joint on Instagram and all you guys should be following me on Instagram at, at real muscle Locario. And this is what happens when you're dealing with, you know, the mainstream society who does, who don't really have any game. See, this is what they want me to say as a as a dating coach the only people are like yeah that's amazing you know because when you're when you find that perfect woman and you you know you just like you know you take that leap to to uh you know make it official and 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 let her know that you you know you just want to scoop her up off the market and and really show her that you're serious that's what you gotta do buddy you gotta you know you just gotta jump into these things and uh you know and because, you know, you can see she's a good woman, right? Like you can tell, you you know, she's she she looks she has her stuff together, you know, and all you, you know, you just got to step up and be a man and be a gentleman and, and make it official, buddy. Like that's that's what they want me to say. You understand? But I, I can't I can't I can't do that. It just it just makes me sad, though, that niggas is going to be in situations that they really don't want to be in. And it's it's all from a lack of game. 
Click the link below and get your tickets to the Game Kings 2 The Definition of a Man Seminar in Las Vegas, Nevada, Labor Day weekend, September 3rd, featuring Boss Mac Top Soil, Steve the Dean Williams, Mr. 1950, Afi Kingdom, King Dre, and hosted by Miles Cunningham and yours truly, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. So make sure you click the link below to get your tickets today. Now, before you go, click the link below and go to badboymembership.com. Now, badboymembership.com is a place where you go to get 45 through 90 minute audio and video dating advice tutorials every month. Listen, I know you're tired of being rejected. Go to badboymembership.com. I know you're tired of being afraid to approach women. Go to badboymembership.com. I know you're tired of not getting the women that you want. Go to badboymembership.com. Listen, I know you're tired of being alone on a Friday night. Go to badboymembership.com. Now picture this. You'll go from not getting what you want when it comes to you dealing with women to actually getting what you want, to being the guy women want to be with, women want to date, women want to have sex with. All you need to do is go to badboymembership.com, follow the steps, learn the game, implement the game, and then you will get the woman you want. Make sure you go to badboymembership.com today. Click the link below. Click the link below or go straight to MrLocario.com to get the documentary, Game Kings, The Definition of Game.